Bill Hosler is a friend of mine, a friend that is whom I have never met. It's complicated. Suffice it to say we live in strange times. Last week Bill tipped me off to an article on Todd Creason's blog from Labor to Refreshment. Todd is a friend of mine whom I have met. Among many other things, he's the founder of the Midnight Freemasons Authors Group. If I gave you his entire Masonic resume, we'd have to call this segment the Masonic Hour. More to the point, here's that article which was about the long-standing mystery surrounding the 33rd degree rings of Harry Truman and Frank Land. There has always been a rule that the 33rd degree rings are to be made only of gold. It caused quite a stir when Frank S. Land, the founder of Malay, had a ring crafted of silver, and he wore it. There's no question about it, that's absolutely true. But years later, a rumor started that Harry S. Truman, after he received his 33rd degree, was seen also wearing a silver 33rd ring. As a past Grand Master of Missouri, and former President of the United States, the idea he would have worn a 33rd degree ring made of anything other than gold caused quite a controversy amongst Scottish Rite Masons. Some said it simply wasn't true, that Truman never owned or wore anything other than a gold ring. Others claimed the ring he was seen wearing was actually Frank Land's ring. They were friends. But Harry's silver ring never turned up. So as time went on, most people believed it was probably just a rumor, a myth. When I received my 33rd degree in 2011, I asked one of the active members of the Supreme Council about the rumor that Harry S. Truman wore a silver 33rd degree ring. I was told very curtly that it never existed. I was also reminded that in the Northern Masonic jurisdiction, 33rd degree Masons were to only wear the ring they were given. I wasn't to even think about buying one of those flashy 33rd rings with the lacquer and diamonds. There were rules about such things after all, and there was absolutely no evidence whatsoever that Truman ever owned, wore, or had a ring like that made. Case closed. It's false, right? Well, guess what turned up last December? That's right. A silver 33rd degree ring. Harry S. Truman's silver 33rd degree ring, no less. And we even know now where it came from. In hindsight, it makes perfect sense. It was inscribed inside to Harry S. Truman, a gift from Frank S. Land. Todd goes on to note the rings would be on display at the Missouri Lodge of Research 2016 Truman Lecture, and it would be the first time both silver rings would be seen together. He also points out, tongue-in-cheek, that an article he previously wrote claiming Truman's ring was most likely a myth had suddenly and mysteriously disappeared. Fact is, I went to that Missouri Lodge of Research lecture, and there they were, both rings on display, together again for the first time. After all the speculation and mystery, it was amazing to see them there. And silver they were silver in color, that is. But the accompanying sign told a different tale. The rings, it said, are not silver at all. They are, in fact, made of platinum. And that, as Paul Harvey used to say, is the rest of the story. For the Whence Came You podcast, this is Steve Harrison with the Masonic Minute.